In this video, I'll be showing you how to create four simple icons in Adobe XD. First thing I've done is created a new document with an iPhone 12 artboard size. I'll rename that artboard Home. And let's give it a background color. So with the artboard selected, go over to the Appearance panel, double click on the fill, and I'm going to go with a dark blue, almost black. And then with the rectangle tool, just press R on your keyboard. I'll draw a rectangle on the bottom. Zoom in, make this uh, about 70 pixels high. Align it to the bottom. Remove the border. And for this fill color, first I'll start with the same as the background, but then I'll make it a little bit lighter so we have like this tone on tone color. And so basically this is the skeleton of an app and this would be the menu bar on the bottom. And now we're going to start designing a few simple icons that you might commonly make when you're designing something. So the first one we'll start off with is a home button icon. So let's zoom in and turn on our pixel grid with the shortcut command quote on a Mac. And now we can see the pixels. And basically when we're designing our icons, we kind of want to follow these lines to make sure that our icons are super sharp and not pixelated and fuzzy. Okay, so zoom in. So to create a house icon, we'll start off with the rectangle tool and draw a square. So just click and drag and to constrain the proportions, press shift at the same time and then it will remain a perfect square. Let's remove the border, zoom in, and now we wanna give a roof to our house. So in order to do that, we're going to add another point. So double click on this shape and then you'll see this little anchor point hovering over the lines click to add one in the middle and then just push and drag while pressing shift so it goes straight up and that creates the roof of our house and so from here we can play around with the points and give character to our icon so right now i feel like the roof is too short so i think what i'll do is i'll make this a little bit taller maybe about halfway and then make this part shorter. So that's too short. So let's go in the middle there. So that's our general outline for our home button icon. Now we want to make a shape to create the door. So again, with the rectangle tool, we'll draw another rectangle on top following these pixel lines. And I'm thinking that's probably a good size. And so basically we want this to be the same dark blue background. We want it to be punched out. So in order to do that, highlight both of these shapes. Over here, choose the subtract tool. And so basically what that does is it takes that shape and now it subtracts it. And so we get this shape. So let's zoom out, see how that looks. Okay, I feel like the door is a little bit too tall. So we can go in, double click and change the height of that and play around until we get it exactly as we want. And so again, we wanna make sure that all of this lines up to the pixel grid. So let's move it to the bottom and make sure everything aligns. I still feel like it's a little too tall so I can select the entire thing and while pressing shift and option at the same time, I can kind of constrain it as I'm resizing it. And I think that looks more like how I want it to look. Okay, so now once we have the shape as we want it to be, we want to outline it so it's a clean vector shape. Because right now, if you look over here in the layers panel, you'll notice that it says subtraction and there's a rectangle and a path in underneath that. We want this to be one shape so that it's not messy like this because you see how you extend the rectangle and 
it's it's okay for when you're still editing the shape but once you're done you want it to be a clean outlined shape so how do we do that in adobe xd in the layers panel select the objects here subtraction one and then go to object path convert to path or use keyboard shortcut command eight and that basically joins it together as one shape. So if we go Command Z, you saw how that was a group of two paths, and now it's basically just one path. So now it's one clean shape, and you can still edit it, but we no longer have that like rectangular shape here. It's just one clean shape. Okay, now let's move on to our second icon, which will be a search icon. So to start, we'll take the circle tool and draw out one using shift to constrain so it's a perfect circle. We're going to copy and paste another one on top just so that we can see it. Let's change the color to a gray. Resize it, clicking shift option and moving it in to constrain that. This is where we can decide on how thick we want that outer stroke of our search icon to be. Now you could do this with just one circle and then add a border and do it that way, but unfortunately Adobe XD doesn't have a way to outline strokes and make those into shapes. So just so that we will have clean shapes, we want to do it this way. So I think I like how that width looks. So again, highlight both of these shapes over here, use subtract. And now to create the handle of our magnifying glass, we'll use the rectangle tool and basically draw out a tall rectangle, move the border, and we want it to be the same width as our circle, so let's align it that way so it's the same width. And now we basically just want to rotate it 45, well, let's do negative 45 degrees. Now again, we want to have both of these shapes highlighted and go over here and choose Add. So now it's become one shape. Okay, let's move on to our third icon, which will be a bell. We want to double click and add another anchor point in the middle. Move this one down. And in order to get rid of these harsh edges, we can double click. And now we have these two handles so we can make curves. And then take this bottom anchor point and move it out so that we start to get a curve here. And now we can play around with that. Double click on this one again. This is the side of one bell. So let's just move this anchor point in. It doesn't really matter where we move these ones because basically what we're going to do is copy this shape, use the flip horizontal tool, and then just bring them together to create a one bell shape. So I think that looks good. So let's select both of them and then use the add tool and now they're one shape. And for the bottom part of the bell, again, take both of those and combine them. Let's zoom out and take a look. All right, so they all have the same height. And then again, once we are good with this, we want to outline this and make it a clean shape because right now it still says Union 3. So click on that. Go to Object, Path, Convert to Path. We forgot to do that to the search icon, so let's click on that one and go to Object, Path, Convert to Path. And now we have three different paths. Go ahead and name them. Now to make our fourth and final icon, which will be an envelope, and that'll signify messages. Turn our pixel grid back on. Use the rectangle tool to create the shape of an envelope. Remove the border. Now there's many ways that we can design this, but basically we want to create a triangle shape that cuts in here. We'll create another square shape. 
and we'll rotate it negative 45 degrees, put it on top and basically make it the same width of the envelope. But I don't like how deep this envelope goes, so I'm gonna double click and move this up to about halfway. Let's duplicate this so we don't lose our work. And then we're gonna highlight both of these and use the intersect tools and then do it again. Highlight both of these, but instead we will choose subtract. And so now we have these as two separate shapes. And basically we just wanna make some distance between them. So let's double click, grab these two anchor points and actually we wanna create one more. So grab three of them. And that looks like it has even spacing around. Now, because these are two separate shapes and they're not joined, there's no point in joining these. Um, and we can so that they are one shape. So highlight both of them. Again, go to object, path, convert to path, and it creates them as two separate paths. And then we can do command G to group them. And let's name this messages and make sure that it's the same size, or the same height as our other icons. And that's it. That's how you create four simple icons in Adobe XD. Now, normally I would design icons in Adobe Illustrator just because you can get pixel precision in that program and there's just a lot more tools, but sometimes you don't wanna to have to jump back and forth between two different programs and you just wanna make a quick icon that you need when you're creating your design mockups in Adobe XD. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a like and be sure to subscribe for more. I'll leave a link down below to some other Adobe XD tutorial videos and also leave them on the screen here.